I wanted to just show off some of my Bronze Age maps I've been making and it's still a work in progress. As far as I can see, no one has really done a map showing the rulers of each region and is very much inspired by the game Crusader Kings 2 where you show the ruler of each particular city. I only show the main cities of the Bronze Age here and there's many more cities I still want to add but so far this is it. The reason why they have red borders is because I was tracking the progress and movements of the Indo-European peoples and this is actually just one small part of a much bigger map where I have the different cultures and how they interact. I also had to keep in mind how the Greeks were just Indo-European invaders to this region and the natives who some call Pelasgians in Greece and they have other names. They certainly interacted with the Greeks and their cultures definitely merged together. Here is a 1400 BC map of Greece and you can see in the famous city of Mycenae or Mukeni and also Tiryns is the ruler Perseus. He's the great Mycenaean king and he has many legends about him. There's other Mycenaean kings in Sparta, you have Argolis and Kinortas, his successor. You have Endymion of Elis. You have the famous Mermid Donos of Theban Thea and Lamia. So, and then you have Doris of the Dorian Pindos. Doris is essentially the father to the Dorian peoples who play a big role later in the Bronze Age collapse. Perseus, who was a king of Mycenae, has many myths around him, and that includes the slaying of the Medusa, or the Gorgon, who was the creature that could turn people to stone. My help must be earned. <laughs> Snap out of it, Perseus! In 1350 BC, Perseus is still ruling in Tiryns and Mukeni, or Mycenae, and you have Agimios in the Dorian city of Dryopus, and you have other different kings like Dardanus, Ilios, and Erichthonius of Dardania, which is obviously named after Dardanus. And Ilios essentially is the namesake for the city of Ilion, or Troy, which plays a big part in Mycenaean history, which is the sacking of Troy. In 1300 BC, you have a new ruler of Tiryns and Mukeni, and also of Argos, that's Eurystheus. And then you also have Heracles, who was the ruler of his tribe, the Heraclidae. His tribe is very close in proximity to the Dorian tribe of Agimios, who rules the Dorian city of Dryopus. And eventually the successors of Heracles become the rulers of the Dorians. That's after the Heraclidae are expelled from Greece, and then they make a return, and that's the famous Dorian invasion, which led to a big change in the Greek dialects in the spoken dialects of Greece, where the Dorian culture became much more prominent. Heracles obviously is famous for his labours and has appeared in many different pop cultures, including Assassin's Creed. You're the one who killed Cerberus! Been a long time since I had a good fight! Heracles! I'm not here to fight you! I need you! I said, fight! Ah! <laughs> 